what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about scream 7 primarily in this video here today so we're going to be going over this filming delay that is now in effect for scream 7 and i'm going to also talk about some other things that can make this situation worse if something doesn't happen by july 31st so According to Nev Campbell, who spoke with IndieWire recently, Scream 7 will now start filming in December. It was supposed to start shooting in September. She did confirm that. She said, I'm very, very happy it's happening. We were supposed to start in September, but we're going to start in December now because of some scheduling stuff with Kevin and myself and having that all aligned. And actually, I think it's a good thing because we're going to be able to have the time to get it really right. So I'm very excited about it. So she's confirming also a few other things that I have been mentioning, which is the fact that Nev Campbell, from what I've heard, is determined to have a suffice story narrative for Sydney Prescott, which makes me a little bit uh, comfortable knowing that or at ease knowing that I, I trust that we will get something of quality for the character. And the show that Kevin Williamson has going on that seems to be causing this conflict with his schedule, like I was alluding to in a video I posted around eight days ago at this point, when I also had stated I heard that filming could actually begin next year. So they're not starting next year, but they're starting very late in this year now. They're starting in December, which is the last year of the month. That show that he's working on is titled The Waterfront, I believe. And shout out to UK for again sending me this IndieWire screenshot and all of this information that's been coming out on production weekly so we have that and her comment about having to get it really right makes me think that there was again stuff that I, I heard she did not like about the story that they have been tweaking to improve to make it the best Scream 7 you could possibly get because again while I am in disagreement with all the things that happened last November what I do not want is a bad Scream movie I do not want to see a poor effort from Nev Campbell Kevin Williamson and those involved with the creative that have birthed one of the best horror franchises to ever exist I do not want to see a seventh film that is a train wreck a travesty and something that just spits on every movie that has come before I don't need that so hopefully they can get everything right and hopefully they don't have any more problems going into this alleged December start date um uh, now here's the other thing that could be a hold up IOTC has gotten their fair deal with a with the AMPTP but Teamsters hasn't and if Teamsters does not have a deal in place by the July 31st deadline which is right around the corner Teamsters going on strike I believe could impact not only Scream 7's filming hopes if it's not resolved by December of course but it could also impact all the other productions that are currently underway that have to do with Hollywood so let's hope that Teamsters can get a fair deal so that way you don't have any more potential delays that could contribute to Scream 7 already being delayed multiple times at this point. And we'll just see what we what we get out of this project at the end of the day. Some other stuff that I want to talk about with Scream 7 comes down to Patrick Dempsey and how Nev's, Nev's comments kind of help with the Patrick Dempsey situation. She talks about herself and Kevin primarily about scheduling issues there. But of course, Patrick is not out of the loop. Patrick's name was recently removed from the production weekly listing of Scream 7. Carrie Russell's was removed as well. Now, Patrick being, of course, the more likely person to appear between the two, him and Carrie, his name being removed is not a guarantee that he is going to be not participating in this film. Production Weekly does update itself quite a bit. For those of you who saw my tweet, I was putting that tweet out there so that way it would reduce the amount of DMs I would get asking me if I could tell anyone what the Production Weekly update was for the week. So rather than waiting and getting all those DMs, I just put out a tweet to say that was what the update was. It does not mean that Patrick Dempsey is not going to be back. But when thinking of these schedule conflicts, Patrick is also working on this prequel show with Dexter, and that involves Sarah Michelle Gellar, too, I believe, as well. So his schedule should be free by December as well. So that way he can commit to the project. Because like I said, I had heard that Patrick's big holdup, not only with the Dexter show, comes down to him wanting a bigger role, something more along the lines of a Dewey Riley, and not being a stay-at-home dad again, which was off screen for the most part in Screen 5. So he's, he's wanting to have something to do. He doesn't just want to appear. Also, it comes down to pay, of course, as well. So... That should all align itself for all three of these stars, Nev, Courtney, Patrick, to sign on and get everything going 
for December and all of that good jazz. When it comes to why you haven't heard anything about the cast, I would imagine, again, it has something to do with these potential strikes. Why make a, a bunch of announcements for a film that could be further delayed in December or beyond December if Teamsters doesn't get their fair deal? Not only that, you have to consider the other reasons, the safety reasons, because there are legitimate safety reasons. For those of you not aware, there is a time where back during the filming of Scream 6, one of the directors, Matt... I believe, or, or Tyler, I think it was Tyler, was harassed by someone who followed them to a Top Gun screening, sat right next to them, and Melissa Barrera was in attendance for this as well. A, a lot of us remember this because it was all over Twitter at the time. The person was actively posting themselves at the, at the screening, I believe. It was a very bizarre situation that was unfolding where someone just completely was going off the deep end, all in the name of Nev Campbell not being in Scream 6. So you see, you have these extremists on both sides when it comes to Nev and Melissa who give these studios like Spyglass a right to start getting secretive when you're starting to become a threat to people's safety. That is a legitimate threat. Like I said before, there's nothing that has transpired that justifies any illegal activity. It just hasn't. So if you're out there committing criminal behavior, well, as the saying goes, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. So there's so many different things and so many different variables that are going into why we haven't heard about the Scream 7 cast. Um, I do. I, I have been hearing that they are struggling to get people. I have been hearing that. That does not mean that it's true. I've also heard that there was talks of just putting the pause button on the project altogether. But again, that doesn't seem to be true just yet. It could become true, but right now it just looks like they're trying to give us the best Scream 7 they can. Now, the delay, obviously, to some people means there's more doom and gloom for the project. I don't want to really be a negative Nancy on the topic. To me, it just seems like they're trying to take their time, not rush this. And after everything that's already tr transpired, why go through all of that only to give us a trash film? That's just all I can say about their mindset. At least I know that has to be Nev and Kevin's mind mindset. Why go through all of that drama? And then on the other end, you have a crappy movie in return as like a cherry on top. It'd be much better if you go through all of that and you would have a quality film on your hands. Would it not? From their eyes anyway. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.